the reality is that European Union is very often used as the scapegoat of all the difficulties. As I usually say, in Europe it's common that the governments nationalize success and they Europeanize failure. When things go well, it's their merit. When things do not go well, it's the fault of Brussels. When you are bashing constantly the European Union, and afterwards you ask the people about the European Union, of course people give you the answer that you would not like to have. So it's very important that you have the ownership of the European Union also at national level. That the European Union is not seen as a foreign power. And I really think it's not acceptable that the most important stakeholders, namely the bigger countries, are constant, constantly criticizing Europe because they are in fact making the value of their shares in that common enterprise go down. Uh, the reality is that in, we are better now in Europe than we were 20 or 30 years before in economic prosperity, in all the indicators of uh, social development from life expectancy to a child mortality, um, the, the quality of life, the access to culture. It's much higher today than before. But trying to put all, always the blame on in Brussels of our own problems at national level, I think this trend is indeed making things very difficult for the uh, legitimation and reinforcement of the legitimacy of the European project.